I work almost exclusively on stretcher bars like this. I like them because they make the painting more sturdy, more solid. They make it a lot easier to hang just by putting string here. It makes it really easy to hang, but also you can reuse them endlessly. So if I do a painting on one of these that I think sucks, I can take the canvas off, stretch fresh canvas around it and try again. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. I have here my stretcher bars, scrap of leftover canvas, and the other tool that you need, a staple gun. So before we get started, a couple things that I want to point out. Um, when you order canvas, if you order canvas that is already prepared or gessoed, it's really important to know which side is the gessoed side and which side isn't. Um, so for example, with this, when both sides are white, it can be a little bit hard to tell, but sometimes if you give it a little scratch with your fingernail, you can feel the texture and tell which side has already been gessoed. Um, I've made the mistake before of stretching the wrong side of the canvas around my bars and then painting on it, and it was a disaster. So definitely don't do that. Once you know which side um, is the gessoed side, I like to put that face down on the surface that I'm working on. And then same thing goes for the bars. If you look, the edge of these bars has a raised edge. You can usually find a raised outer edge on your bars and that's that's helps keep the, the canvas tight around the bars so once you figure that out that's how you tell that that's the front and you put it face down onto the back of your sheet of canvas now i say sheet of canvas but this came from a roll that i had to cut and tear to size so when you do that also make sure that you have enough of a margin around the edges so that you can pull the canvas around it. So the way I start is by giving each of the four sides a staple right in the center. I like to work opposite sides, so I staple this side, go to the opposite side in the middle, Pull it so that the canvas in the center is nice and tight. Same thing there and same thing. Here. All right. So now that we have the four sides stapled, it's not gonna go anywhere. And the, the strategy is to work from the center, stapling out towards the corners while turning um, the stretcher bars. So I'll demonstrate what that looks like. And then, since these sides are shorter than these sides, I'm gonna put a couple more right here before we get to the corners. All right, so corners are a little bit funny. Um, the canvas tends to be a little looser at the corners because we're, we're pulling them in the center so much. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I address my corners and I'm gonna do my best to explain it to you with my words. But the truth is, it's the kind of thing that you have to learn yourself by doing it a lot and sort of feeling it out. So what I like to do is to make sure that the canvas doesn't end up loose in this corner, I think it's important to give a nice gentle pull out this way, which sort of tightens 
the canvas around the corner. Then I'll take this side of the canvas and wrap it over the bar, give it a staple, tuck this part underneath here and pull this over. Give you And then to address this little hanging piece, I like to fold it around. Let me demonstrate that again so that my hand's not in the way. I like to take this and I'm gonna fold it so that I can staple it to the back of this corner. But me being a little bit of a neat freak, I like to just wrap it around tightly so that this really is nice and snugly wrapped around this corner here. So kind of like that. When doing corners, I like to work opposite sides. Um, I feel like it helps just pull the canvas apart when you're pulling opposite sides like that. Keeps it nice and, and tight because that makes all the difference when it comes time to paint. There you go. Nice canvas, ready to paint on. The, the last thing I'll say is that it took me a few times of doing this before I got like the tightness and the corners right. If you do it and the canvas is a little loose and it gives a little too much when you're painting it in the middle, don't, just keep going, don't. Don't let that, that bother you. Um, it takes a few tries before you get, you know, the, the right margins and, and the hand strength to pull things tightly and how to figure out and navigate the corners. Um, that all comes after you do it several times. But this should be enough to get you started and keep you painting.